creating a variable name is also called creating an identifier which will help you to identify a particular value but remember any name you cannot use like just for your choice you if you want to use a particular uh, word for your variable that is not possible okay there are some word which are used by that for particular specific programming language like for example in python you have a different set in case of c you have different set in case of java you have a set so of except those set of uh, sort set of words you can use other words and those set of words which you cannot use for naming a variable then those words are called keywords okay reserved keywords a reserved word which you cannot be used as a variable name so these keywords are not allowed as a variable name they are part of the language's syntax and if you use this keyword as variable name then computer or the program or the compiler will identify the variable name as a part of the compiler but when uh, it will try to do some operation it will have th this token have some specific meaning as per the compiler goes okay different compiler has different meaning for different words different keywords so if you by mistake you if you assign those words as a variable name it will give you pro errors during the execution or during the compilation so different languages have different limits on the length of the variable name uh, how many character you can use for variable nowadays modern programming languages allow chain of characters as a variable name Mm, but like it's virtually unlimited but normally you don't need that that long list of alphabets for naming a variable there is a specific rules for naming a variable that i will explain uh, after this slide so in old languages these variable names are consisting of only upper case letters these all only upper case alphabets are used for mm, uh, used for variable names in the old uh, old languages old computer languages but uh, nowadays you can use capital letter or small letter now in modern languages these identifiers these variable names are case sensitive case sensitive means what is the meaning of case sensitive case sensitive means if you have the same word like hourly wage and this hourly wage and this hourly wage these three have different meaning or uh, they are three distinct name where the case sensitivity does not matter in those kind of programming languages these three have the same meaning like hourly wage hourly wage and hourly wage if you write these three it, it signifies the same okay but in case of uh, modern languages like python like java file like c they are case sensitive languages okay you cannot write uh, the same word with different uh, cases okay upper case or lower case to identify the same variable if you do that then it will be com compiler will identify as two different variable names so two different identifiers multiple naming conventions are used for naming variable depending on the programming languages and those naming conventions are like camel casing or lower camel casing what is this lower camel casing means the first alphabet of the first word will be the smaller one and first alphabet of the remaining word are capital so camel casing is called first alphabet of the first word this hourly wages so, hourly wages is consist of two word right hourly and wage so hourly wage in this case uh, the first word hourly here h the alphabet of the first word is a smaller one and the first word of the remaining alpha uh, word first alphabet of the remaining word are capital like this last name last is a word and name is a word so the first alphabet of the first word is small and the last first alphabet of the remaining word are capital so that's why this is called camel casing or lower camel casing there is another one is called pascal casing or called upper camel casing where first alphabets of all words are capital or upper case so that's why it's called upper camel casing okay like here h and w are the first alphabet of the two word hourly and wage so uh, this h and w are upper case the here l and n are the first word of the two uh, first alphabet of the two word last name so l and n must be 
in the upper case so this why is called upper camel casing another uh, another naming convention is called hungarian notation okay hungarian notation what is this here uh, the type of the data a type of the variable type of the identifier is actually also included with the variable name so this hourly wages or last name hourly wages is a number so num value is included with the variable uh, name and the last name is a string type uh, variable so a string uh, string keyword will be used at the beginning before the variable name so that's called hungarian notation snake casing the underscore is used to divide the two word in the variable name and uh, mixed case with upper uh, underscore that means here you can use uh, the capital letter at the big the uh, for the first alphabet of the word uh, with underscore separating the two words so that's the mixed case with underscore and kebab case hyphen is used to separate the two word like in case of mixed case you have underscore in case of kebab case you have hyphen which will separate the two word so these are the ways you can follow to name a variable another thing is there are universal rules are available or present by which you can write a name that is variable name must be one word you cannot write two word here they, they it looks like there are two word within a variable but it's actually a single word consisting of two english word if you give a space between these two word then it will be a two word and that is not possible to identify a single variable in modern days languages if you give space between these two words it will be actually two variable names variable name must be one word that is the first rule second rule is variable name must start with a letter it's not you cannot start a variable name with like one last name two last name you cannot write you can write uh, last name one last name two that is possible but uh, with a variable name cannot start with a number it will always start with a letter also you cannot uh, start a variable name with a special character like dollar or uh, has or at the rate any kind of uh, special character you cannot use them for writing a variable name at the beginning variable names would have some appropriate meaning like for example you cannot write xyz or abc for some variable why because say for example you have written a program and after two months or three months you will have your final exam and now on that time you want to revise your subject and you, when you are looking at the program you are confused with the meaning of the uh, name abc or xyz whatever you have written instead of say for example if you write last name instead of abc so whenever you will uh, see that program uh, a lot of time you will identify that this variable is actually identify the last name of the particular object okay so that's why always give a appropriate meaning which corresponds to that variable okay so the variable name must be a meaningful word corresponds to the variable